Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda and today we're going to be talking about how to make pins in Canva for Pinterest that help you get a lot of views. As you can see here, this is my Pinterest and what is most important about Pinterest is that the followers don't really matter that much. What really matters is the monthly views and as you can see here, I'm getting over 900,000 monthly views. So if you would like to learn how to make pins in Canva for free that get you hundreds, I'm sorry, that get you thousands of views, then keep watching. If this is your first time here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified to my next videos. In my videos, I like to help people better their health and their wealth. Now let's get started. So as you can see, this is my Pinterest account and I wanna just kinda of show you my pins. These are my pins. Here's one of my latest pins I created this one's talking about my Curb Your Cravings free ebook. And as you can see in my pen here, I have, and below my pens, you can see my website address. I just kind of want to show you my pens so you can see the kind of pens that I create. Now, in order to make some of these pens, I wanted to also share with you uh, a few websites or a few um, yeah websites that I use to get free photos, free stock photos for my pins. Sometimes I like to go to Pixabay, Pixels, or Unsplash. All of these are free places that you can go to get beautiful photos for your pins. I have also paid for some of my pictures. Some of the pictures that I've gotten, I've gotten from Abbott Stock and Creative Market. Those are two places that you can go to, but for those two, you have to pay. And it's not very expensive to pay for those pictures, but you can do either or. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're, going to, we're going to go to Unsplash. This is Unsplash. Now let's create a pin. Let's say we want to show people how to grow their online business. So here at Unsplash, I will I'm going to put desktop and see what pictures come up. See how beautiful they are. I think I'm going to use, um, let me see, I think I'm going to use this one. So what you do is you pick a picture, you click on it, then you up here you download it for free. When you download it, mine goes automatically to my um, desktop. It saves it on my desktop. Then you want to go to Canva. And again, Canva is free if you are interested in that. But I use the paid version because there are so many things that you can do with the paid version. And Canva even has stock photos that you can also use if you have, you can use some, I think, with the free plan too, but you can have more of a variety if you have the paid version. Okay, so what I like to do here in Canva is I go here to the right hand side where it says create a design. And my designs, the what I like to do is I make it 735 pixels. 
I'm sorry, I have to go to create custom design here, not up there. So we go down here to custom size, click on that. Then we go 735 by 1500 px, create design. It'll pop up here. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab that picture and you could just drop it down in there. And here it is. Here's the picture. So what I like to do is I I size it up to fit all of the um, length of my pan. And this is just a fast and easy way that you can make a pan. Then what I like to do is, let's see, I like to go to the elements here. I grab the square. And I just stretch it out. Okay, so I'm going to make that square a different color. I'm going to think I'm going to make it black. And then what I like to do is go over here to transparency and then just kind of make it, uh, let's see about, let's see how this works, 64 transparency. Then we go here to the left hand side and click on text. And I like to use the text that is this one right here, but you can use any text. And as you can see here, they have a variety of text boxes that you can use. And then if you have the free version, when you click on this, it'll say pro right there with a little crown next to it. That lets you know that you cannot have those. So you can't have the ones that have the crown or say pro on them because those are only for if you have the paid version of the software. So then what you want to do is you want to go over here to oops, heading and let's type how to grow your online business. And I'm going to make the text here. I'm going to make it white. Sometimes if you can't grab it to move it, you want to click outside and then click inside and then it'll let you move it. And let's see here. I think I did. I don't need that. So I'm going to minimize this box here. There. I like the way that looks better. Then what you want to do on every pen is you want to make sure that you put your website or your um, wherever you want to link people, wherever you want them to go. If you want them to go to your website, if you want them to go to your Etsy shop or wherever it is that you're wanting them to go, you want to make sure you put that link at the very bottom of the pan. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I go to element here again, click on that. Put it there at the bottom. Put it right here at the bottom. I'm going to change it to black to match the other one. Let's see, black. Make it transparent. Then I go to text. And I like to use this small one right here. And then I put www. And I'll put it there. I'm going to change the color of the text to white to make it stand out. Center it.
Let's make the font a little bit bigger so it could stand out more. So I'm just increasing the font. There, just to make it bigger. You want to make it stand out. This way people really notice it. Okay, so this is the pen that you can use. See how fast and easy this was? Always make sure that you get your link down, or that you put your website or wherever you want to send people to down here because this will help you to get more eyes on wherever it is that you're trying to get people to go. This will help them to click on it or save the pen for later if they want to. Okay, I want to show you one more pen. Now I want to show you the pen, which is my latest pen, how I did my latest pen. And I got a lot of views, a lot of clicks, a lot of emails on this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to duplicate this page here. This is duplicate because I want the same size. But I'm going to delete the picture. I'm going to go ahead and delete the word that too. And I'm going to go to a picture that I've already uploaded, one of my photos. Once I get it here, I just kind of stretch it out as big as it can go there. Okay, so for this one, I deleted this. That. I want to do the I want to change the background of the pan. So I go here. Just go here. I think I'm going to make it that color. And I want to go to text. Just pick any text that you like. I think I'm going to do, let's see, let's do this one. And I'm going to put in big letters free ebook. I want to center it. So I'm going to go here to alignment and center it. I've got to highlight both of it, both of them. Center. Center. There we go. There we go. That. So then we want to make it as big as we possibly can, but make sure it fits there. And I want to kind of space the free and ebook a little bit. So I'm going to go here to spacing. And separate them a little bit there. And then even the letters. Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So that's it, right there. There's my second pen. This is the pen that I used to promote on Pinterest my Curb Your Sugar Cravings. And I was able to get a lot of emails from this pen. So you know, if you know anything about marketing, you know that getting a lot of emails is very important because you can always go back and remarket to these people because they have already shown interest in your product or products. So I hope I have helped you to better know how to create your pens, to get more traction, to get more views to your Pinterest, to get, which in turn will give you more views to wherever it is the link that you're, sh you're, sh you're sharing with your clients on those Pinterest pens. If I forgot to mention something that you think is helpful for everyone, please put it below in the comments and share it with them. I'm sure that we would all benefit and love to know what you um, know so that we can all benefit from it. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video.